Hey guys, get rid of me for school. I'm taking out my heatless curls now because I did them with like a robe tie art instead of a um instead of the silk thing. And it looks like it, it worked, so I really, really, really hope it did. It looks ugly. It looks really, really, really ugly. I really regret doing that. I'm never doing that again, but whatever. Anyway, I'm skipping skincare again because I have nine minutes. But again, I'm not gonna talk about that because irrelevant and Literally, the shade batch of this is so good. And a lot of people say you don't like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, but I personally love it. It's so good. And I actually managed to not scrape that bit off, so. And you can't see that well, but I have bags today. And a lot of you are like, oh, where are your bags? Are the bags in the room with us? Like, bro, I'm behind a screen. N no, they're not in the room with you, for one. And two, you can't see everything through a screen, so. I think I used the wrong brush for foundation today because I don't know, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I don't I don't remember. Regardless, it doesn't matter. It really, really doesn't matter. Right, let's add some colour to my face. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair, like I really don't know. And it looks so bad. Like, like oh, I'm thinking I can either put it up, like tie it up, but I really don't wanna do that. Or I can try straighten it like in the five minutes I have before I need to leave. So, I don't know. Okay, I've actually gotten better in applying blush because before I would look like I've got a fever. So, get them, we're getting better. I nearly dropped my highlighter again. That could have been bad, but it's okay. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put this at my face. And then, mascara. I don't know, I lost my train of thought. It crashed. Anyway, actually I might do my hair first because I've got four minutes. If I do my hair, then I can do my mascara after. I don't know why I thought like that, but we'll do it like that. Okay, I managed to straighten my hair. Okay, bye guys. Hey guys, get ready me for the last day of school. Okay, so it's the last day until Easter break, and I'm really excited because... Yeah, it's the last day. But my favourite teacher is leaving today. So I'm, I've got my little present because... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like that. But anyways, I've got 10 minutes to do my makeup. I've literally done like everything. Like I've done my hair and everything. And I think it's really cute. But we're not allowed our hair like down. Um, but like loads of people have been putting up in half half up, half down. I don't think they've been getting told off. So I'm going to do it. I left quite a lot down though. Like I barely put any up. But it's fine. And I've got my bow in. But people keep making fun of it. I'm just going to ignore the haters because... I think it looks cute. But I love Thursdays and Fridays though because Thursdays I wear no makeup and then Fridays I wear like a quite a lot. So like I don't know, I just really like it. But normally yeah, the last day to like Christmas and Easter are so boring. Last day to summer is really good. But Christmas and Easter are boring because we always like go to church and then like <sighs> Yeah, do some stuff there. Because obviously it's like Easter and Christmas, you can't even like summer. It's just summer, like there's nothing religious about it. And like there's nothing wrong with shirts, but I'm just like not I'm personally like not religious, so I don't know, it's just a bit boring to me. I don't really think today's gonna be that fun though, because like yeah, I just don't think it is. First period I have history, but we're just watching a film, but like um what's it called? It's like a historical film. But it's fine, I can just talk with my best friend. Um and then I've got English, which I've got an assessment, which is quite sad, but it's fine. See my whole world okay so the brows don't look the same but it's fine because i've got six minutes okay so i've done my brows and they're like all right actually they're not like that bad but i've got three minutes <sighs> i'm not even going fast like i'm literally not even like brushing also i accidentally stopped telling you my time table so i'm gonna tell you um so after english i have spanish which i think we pretty good right i'm gonna try and not forget the bit on my neck because the other day I like blended in my El Pelo Glow, yeah, and like just like basically did all of my makeup and then like I was about to leave and I saw that still there and I had to like quickly blend it in. I'm going to use this cream contour because I like never use this anymore. I once again stopped telling you my timetable so I'm going to carry on. But after Spanish I have maths which is good but I don't really think that'll be fun. It'll just be like quite a normal lesson but normal lessons are fun anyway so it doesn't really matter. And after that, I'm supposed to have pee theory with my favourite teacher. But um, I can't because we've got assembly in the church, I'm pretty sure, at that time. So period five and six. Well, period six is assembly anyways. So period five and six is just assembly. You can tell you. 
Guys, by the way, yeah, it's 10 past 8. I'm supposed to leave at 8. Okay, anyway, that's my makeup done. I just need to do my lips, but like my lip combo is in my blazer. But anyway, it's not. and get ready for me for school okay so it's finally friday i've got through a whole five days well, i haven't got through a whole five days because i went home early on monday but still i've got through basically a whole five days of school and then i only have today left and then i'm free for two days and then next week i leave on thursday because that's when our two weeks start and I'm so excited. I've just put my hair in a slick back ponytail. I feel like I haven't put my hair in a slick back in literally the longest time ever. I've got into a little plait. I did it myself, guys. But I was just going to get my best mate to plait my hair in school because I like the way she does her plaits. But instead, I decided to do this. I feel like I haven't done a slick back plait in the longest time ever. Just a slick back in general. I don't remember the last time I did a slick back. I've been really good with not doing them because, you know, I don't want to go bald and that whole shabam. But I use this, like, spray gel and I don't like it. I don't like it. It stresses me out. Okay, I've got more out. But it's 7.20. I've been awake since, like quarter past six but i don't want to get out of bed because i was just so cold and i wanted to watch some of the vampire diaries but i haven't got a chance to and i don't think i'm gonna have a chance to but i don't want to do too much makeup today only because i don't feel like it today i was actually gonna do a dance show because when my school's doing some like march dancing i didn't even know about it but like then I got told by some girls that this stance we did in the panto is going to be in this show. So if we want to do it, then we can. And I was going to, but honestly, I've kind of spaced out about the dance. And my thirds are actually healed because it's been, I think it's been six or seven weeks since I got them. And you can change the jewellery from, I'm going to do this because it makes your eyes less puffy. But you can change it from six to eight weeks. So... I think mine are healed. I mean, I take them out and play about with them. So, I'm sure it's all good. I hope that it helps because my eyes have just been going so puffy in the morning. And this is meant to help de-puff and brighten. But today, I think I have geography at some point. Probably have science again. I've had a sub in science for the past few days. So, it actually hasn't been that bad. Like, I haven't minded it. So, I've had a sub for the past two days i'm probably gonna have english or maths did my math test yes yesterday and i actually think i did really well i'm convinced i did really well like i revised i was i've been revising i was revising for like the past two days before the test and then i was revising like the lessons before because we also had a sub with those lessons too so i just had a lot of revision and i did the test and it was a bit hard but if everything that i'm for sure sure that i got right right yeah then i should get 89 percent. i did a little maths i calculated it i mean <laughs> so yeah hopefully i do because i just i just want to do well in this test i just want to do well on this test and not get moved to set two because i like being top set i hope it's not that cold today i'm looking very weird i don't know but i'm looking very glowy so i don't mind but my bed is still unmade because i'm planning on jumping right back into it i don't even have to leave for another hour so i'm just getting ready in advance if i don't need to leave for another hour i'm sure i can fit in an episode of tvd i'm gonna do it anyway even if i can't i'm still gonna do it I honestly love just doing full faces of concealer. It's just a bit weird, but I don't know. I just like it. And the like, thing is, none of my concealer is my right shade, but then none of my skin tints are the same shade as my concealer. So I just have to like do a full face of concealer so then my face is actually the same colour. Okay, I've... What have I done? I've used this bronzer. This bronzer. This blush. Now I'm going to do my brows. And I've also curled me eyelashes setting spray and i'm all done bye bye don't even look at my hair don't do it so um i got a crimper and i decided to try it today yeah 
we have some work to do but it's okay because i'm not going anywhere today because today we have a snow day for no reason like it's snowing but there's like not even an inch on the ground it was the most stupid call ever but i'm not complaining so today i'm getting my nails done finally um i'm doing the blue ones that you guys saw of my other video i don't remember if i've already said that on a different video but yeah i'm doing the blue ones they're just more like spring breaky vibes i guess yeah and then at five we're going to our friend's house for a little bit so that will be fun i don't have like an appointment booked for my nails we're just going to like one of those walk-in places i was just gonna get it done at this one place but you had to book an appointment and they didn't have any appointments until like next week and obviously i'll be in mexico next week i need to put on my whitening strips before i forget i'm doing like this 10-day treatment um it's like my teeth are white, but they're like off white, you know, because I had braces on for two years. So now I'm trying to get them like white, white. Okay, whitening strips are on. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows while I wait for my lashes to dry because I just put eyelash serum on. Guys, white strips taste so bad. Okay, mascara is done. I'm just gonna put on some concealer. So I feel like my face looks like kind of red this morning. Um, this already has, like, blush on it, so I'm just gonna use what's off of that instead of putting blush on. Yeah, because that's really pink. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for makeup today. Okay, this hair is another story story. Because I feel like if I let it sit, it might, like, calm down. Okay, I feel like it has. Okay, I think it'll look better throughout the day. Actually, yeah not that bad right or is that just me like trying to make myself delusional no i don't think it's that bad okay i think we're good okay but that is it bye guys hey guys get ready me to go to birmingham so as most of you know this weekend i'm going to talk fest which is in the birmingham nec so we're going on a road trip um all the way to birmingham also, if anyone's wondering, my tracksuit's from this runway and it's so nice. But I packed everything in this super cute Glorecity, like, bag, um, which I'm going to bring to talk about. And I've got so much, to, so much in here, so, yeah. I'm going to need to rummage to find my products, but I'm going to use my hyaluronic acid. It's weird, I'm literally not going to be home for, like, two days. Well, I'm moving today. So it's three days, but... Yeah, um, I'm gonna use my ordinary hyaluronic like acid now. And for my YouTube, I am actually gonna be filming a pack of me, so stay tuned for that. But I'm really excited, like, I think even in the evenings of Top Fest, we might be going out for dinner, so like, I'm gonna try and film as much YouTube videos as possible. I'll be like, get ready for me to go for dinner, vlogs, obviously, and everything. Okay, I'm gonna use my Grocery Pump Pump Cream, and then I'm gonna mix in my friggin' But I'm not gonna put too much makeup on, because I'm literally just gonna be sat in the car for hours. So, not really a point. But this is actually so exciting, like, took first this weekend, and then four more days of school, and then it's my Easter half term. Um, and then I'm off for two weeks, so, yeah, life is great. I'm literally going to be sat with my AirPods in the whole time. I'm not complaining, I'm just going to be listening to, like, Scissor, Frank Ocean. I'm literally so excited to meet up with, like, my influencer friends. Like, I feel like whenever I go to an event, it doesn't feel real, like, I can't believe this is happening. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do my lashes. I think my eyelash is kind of, yeah. And then my YSL mascara. Okay, I've just cut my lashes, and I'm gonna use my YSL mascara. Also, guys, I'm sorry if the music's too loud or too quiet. Like, I don't know what, I, I generally can't tell when I'm filming. It's only, like, when I'm, when I've already filmed it, and then I can hear, and I'm like, oh, that's a bit loud, oh, that's a bit quiet. Um, this is all I'm going to do actually. I'm going to brush my brows up with a spoolie. Oh, actually, and I'm going to put some on my lips. I'm going to use my Laneige lip mask in Sweet Candy. Okay, now I'm going to use my Soleil Generic here, and I need to figure out what perfume I'm going to bring with me. Like, I don't know, probably this. But yeah, bye guys. Get ready me for school, but like, I have one of the, like, the world's biggest spots ever, I'm not even kidding you. Like, it's all around there, but it's actually huge, and it's making me want to... I'm not even joking, either. 
so I don't really know what to do because I'm going to my boyfriend after school but I don't want to put loads of makeup off on because if I put loads of makeup on it will just come straight off before the end of the school day anyway and then I'll look silly but and another thing I don't want to put like like not a lot because that is huge I think what I'm going to do first is get some concealer like find some concealer that matches perfectly my skin because I always use lighter concealer under my eyes so I need to try and find one that perfectly matches my skin and then try and cover that that's what I'm going to do right I've put concealer over it you can't really see but I'm going to attempt to cover it with that but I feel like concealer just doesn't really do the job like I feel like it just goes really cakey when you only put it in one area but I'm still going to try it anyway we'll see how this goes I'm not going to do it on this side yet, uh, but I'm going to go in with this bronzer, it's a BFF phase one. Uh, I barely ever use this anymore, I haven't used it in ages, but I'm going to go ahead and bronze my cheeks a bit. This is so pigmented, I forgot about that though. Right, this spot's actually huge at this point, I'm literally just going to stick a star in it, I don't even care. I'm just going to either get rid of me here because I'm very close to having a mental breakdown because I look literally terrible. If I ever won the lottery, these are the things I would spend my money on. I hate to say this, but I think the first thing I would do was get Ozempic. It sounds so bad. My first purchase would be a beach house in Florida and a beach house in Australia. At both of these houses, I would have a Diet Coke soda machine like they have at restaurants. I would also have a frozen yogurt machine like at the frozen yogurt places and a fully functioning like acai bowl cafe thing. I would get two black cats and four dogs, two golden retrievers, and two French bulldogs. That would be so fun. I would hire different famous chefs and bakers from around the world to come to my houses and teach me how to cook their like special meals because I really love cooking. So I wouldn't want like a private chef, but I would still want like really fancy meals. I would get a Range Rover or a Bronco. I think a lot of very expensive cars are kind of ugly, not gonna lie, and those are the only ones I kind of like. I would hire a facialist to come to my house and give me facials once a week, and I would also have like a personal nail tech that came to my house and did my nails too. I would hire a tutor to come teach me a bunch of different languages because I think being like bilingual or just knowing a lot of languages is really cool. I would buy a yacht and a sailboat, one for Australia and one for Florida. I don't know which one would go where because I'd have to like see the vibes, obviously, but I would have both. I would have someone teach me how to drive both the yacht and the sailboat, but I would also hire someone like a captain to drive the yacht and the sailboat when I don't feel like driving it. Like if I'm taking out friends on my yacht, I don't want to have to drive it, so I would have someone else drive it. I would hire the best acting coach in the world and become an incredible actor and then I can be in a bunch of movies and make even more money. I promise I'm not that bad of a person because I would also have my own foundation that helped ocean conservation and just helped save the ocean and I would also have my own like research facility where they would research on sea turtles and stingray and find out ways to save them. Whenever the baby sea turtles hatch out of their eggs, I want to be there to help guide them and get them like safely to the ocean. I would donate a lot of money to my college and I would want a scholarship like how Alex Earl has her scholarship. And then I would want a building named after me. <laughs> I would want to start a bunch of little businesses and like side hustles just for fun and even if they failed, who cares? I forgot about this, but I would probably also buy a castle in like Scotland or something like that. I would go to farmers markets, small coffee shops, and family owned businesses and restaurants and leave tips of like over a thousand dollars to help them. I would also have a custom vanity and closet with lots and lots of makeup and clothes. Get ready with me because I feel ugly as shit right now. My face actually looks like the inside of a pizza's asshole. No one can do my hair how I like. <laughs> I mean, just ranting and complaining. Guys, I'm not even kidding. It looks healthy, but it feels drier than my ex's Snapchat. And I mean this in genuinely the nicest way possible because I love you guys. The last thing I want to hear right now is like, oh my god, you're pretty. I would die to look like you. Like, I don't feel good. I, I don't. My hairstylist is out right now and I'm really trying not to cheat on her, but my mental health literally needs my hair to be changed. Literally look in the mirror every day at my hair and just my fucking day's ruined. Like I'm not even doing this shit. I'm packing up my shit and I'm leaving. Anyway, Hobknocker, let me give you the what's happening. Tonight, me and Anthony are going to some drinking festival thing with my family, so I'm excited for that. If y'all know me, I don't drink like literally ever. I'm such a fucking loser. I just... <laughs> 
So I think it's gonna be fun to get drunk with the parents and just take my mind out of the living hell that I have been putting myself in mentally for like the past four months. Makeup actually has to look decent today because we're actually doing something for once in our lives. I used to wear thongs all the time. Currently, I don't know how I did that because I feel... <laughs> if I can feel it in between my butt cheeks, like how am I supposed to operate like this? You ever just get in the state of mind where like literally everything will piss you off? Like even the smallest, most minuscule thing. Because that's how I feel right now. If someone came at me sideways, actually I probably wouldn't even do anything right now because I don't fucking feel like it. Anyway, so we're all staying in a hotel room together tonight. Hopefully no one beefs because my family does tend to be interesting. My nose contour always does look like the inside of an asshole and there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm one of those people in arguments where if someone gets like really angry, right? And like can't control their anger and they start like freaking out and like punching shit and like, like I just laugh. Like, I'm sorry, if you were a grown-ass adult, like, having a meltdown over, like, a fucking piece of cheese or something, I cannot hold it together, and I will not take you seriously. And I feel like when it comes to family, since you guys are around each other so much, arguments tend to start over very small things. Dude, I cannot hold my shit together when that happens. It's just, like, too fucking good. Why do I feel like I look like fucking handsome Squidward right now? I always forget to blend the contour down here and someone comments on it every video and i just still can't do it Ooh. that shit goes up your nose okay well, i saw some of these candy glazes and i really want to try one so i'm gonna do that see they're gonna be this okay first time reveal oh period i don't even know if these are like full-on lipsticks or what did that do anything? Oh, that feels nice. That feels bougie. No wonder I could never afford this. I feel like this shade's gonna be better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, I think that is about as good as it's gonna get. So go to part two to get dressed with me. Woo! I love you, Hopknockers. I'll see you in the next. Why do TikTok keep deleting my video? Anyways, if you can't tell, I'm doing makeup. So in my last video, I talked about how this is basically the same thing as the Charlotte Tilbury and the Halo Glow, like, combined, basically. But I didn't finish the look, so we're testing out some new products on me. This is actually a foundation stick, but I just used it as contour. It's from Basma. So let's see how she looks. It's also like 11 o'clock on a school night. I'm just, like, in denial. Why is she low-key eating i fuck with it i fuck with it oh my god am i looking glowing next up the boss my blushes boom i don't know if this is the right brush to use this oh shoot oh shoot now there's like yucky stuff on here ew oh so she's like sexy oh i like her i think i'm gonna take an everything shower after this oh because this is too much blush i like it i like it Lip liner. I've never tried a lip liner before. I'm so scared. It's like brown though. I'm scared. Did I do it? I have really small lips, so I don't know if this is right. Please don't make fun of me. Anyways, they sent me this gloss, so maybe it goes with it. Wait. Am I giving Kim Kardashian? Did I do it? Right? Did I do it right? Oh my gosh, guys. How could I even forget about this highlighter? Look how pretty she is. Look at this beauty. Okay, yes. I'm really dying for this right now. Okay, I feel actually a little silly with this. Like, did I do it? Do I look like a clown, guys? Anyways, gonna go hit my everything shower right now. Bye, guys! Good morning and happy Friday. Anyways, do you guys remember yesterday I told you I had a really big lit test that I had to do good on? Well, I got a 95. And also, somebody said that she curves the test, which I want to say she's done that before. But I don't know if that 95 is with or without it. You know, I needed a 97 to move my overall grade to an A. So I'm praying that the 95 was without the curve. Anyways, I don't know if I have anything today, like quiz or test wise. And I really hope I don't because I haven't studied for anything. But with my luck, who knows? Oh, also, this is super exciting. Um, on the board when we walked into Lit, it said if you finish your test early, go look at this website for your next assignment.
I didn't finish early. I finished with maybe two minutes left in the class, so I didn't get to look at it. Well, turns out that next assignment is our last big essay. And that essay is a paragraph for every year of school in our life. All the way from preschool up to your plans for senior year in college. And then another one about everything that you've learned in your however many years of schooling. You think I remember elementary school? I think that's a good 14, 15-ish paragraph somewhere in there. And it's due a week from yesterday, so. We have six days to finish, I believe, and that's including the weekend. So basically, I'm done for. I literally started it yesterday, and she hasn't even officially assigned it till today. So that's insane that we get less than a full week to do that. Anyways, hopefully I finish that in time, but I'm done. Bye.